What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Modded Rimworld. I still have a stuffy nose and I can only assume I sound like I'm talking through a potato. I don't know why a potato, but I feel like that's a good description. So, uh, please bear with me. Uh, we have a raid, by the way. So I was doing the furniture like I said I would. Uh, we have all of this furniture now to at least normal or higher quality. And as I was finishing up, uh, we got a little raid popping in. So they're attacking immediately. It's a group of tribals. Ooh, the leader of the faction. We can murder the leader of the faction. Hakuja. Uh, I'm actually curious if they're going to go for the wall. Or if they're going to go around. Hmm. It looks like a couple are going down south. Which, it's not really that big of a deal. Uh, we could grab... We have two turrets down here, so we should be able to clean that up nicely. We'll grab, uh, I don't know, Red Flux and... Turtle. Yeah, we'll grab Red Flux and Turtle. We'll pull these guys down south. And then we'll grab everyone else and have them go. I like how David can't fight and he took a helmet. <laughs> we'll grab everyone else and bring them up here. And should be okay. We probably don't even need both of these guys down here. We'll uh, stack you up down there. You up down there. What's the range? Uh, I'm going to put him... Well, no. Because he's got... He's pretty inaccurate. Okay. Uh, we'll do this. This is fine. Killseek has the smart sniper rifle now. Uh, I want him down here. Big Cal. Hunter. We'll put Everlost over here. There we go. And the animals. All of the animals need to go to the barn. Like, right now. Sorry, animals. Go to the barn. Everyone else should be good to just move around freely. That's a lot coming from the north, but we should be okay. What the heck was that sound? Killseek's down. Or not down, he's... Wow. That was a really good shot. Do they just, like, mow over the turret? They just not care? They're going for cover? Alright, we need to kind of, like, control who they're firing at right now. Because uh, this could get really bad. This is actually just worst case scenario right now. Uh, you guys fall back. We need you to come help over here. Looks like Everloss is down. Or if, nope, she's still fighting. This is this is getting silly. Uh, Turtle, come up here. Now she's down. Yep. He's killing a puppy right now. Uh, the chief died. New chief is White Mink. I guess that's kind of a win. I'd need to just fall back instead of standing here. Let's everyone fall back into the generator room. Let's have you two fall back into here. And we'll uh, we'll let these guys deal with with stuff. Salad, you gotta make it, buddy. Big cow, you gotta cover them. Salad's down. Alright, we're gonna let these guys just kind of fight over the turrets right now. Did anyone die? I don't think anyone died. Everyone needs rescue right now, like, rescue, rescue, who else needs rescued, just, just those two, nope, whoa, what, what, no, where is he, rescue salad please, okay, so we lost two turrets, we got two colonists severely injured, that was actually really bad. Uh, we need to do something about this entryway. I feel like I need to put sandbags out here just so they stop and use the sandbags as the cover. Instead of running in trying to find cover. Who is, no one is rescuing Crow? Why are you, you Hunter's supposed to be doing it. Hunter's, just, no. I'm so confused right now. Dates, we don't have any. All right, we gotta check injuries. Uh, everyone is rescued right now. And then we still have some sick people. 11 hours, you're missing a toe. Other than that, you should be okay. Crow is missing a pinky. Other than that, he should be okay. And Everlost is pretty much okay. Uh, David, what are you doing? Making cloth. No, I want you to come tend to salad, please. Who's the other doctor? No, we have two. 
he's the best. Dragon can also help. Uh, Dragon, you can come tend to Crow. But we uh we gotta save Salad. Should be okay. We got him. Everyone's okay. Everyone is a okay. I like how she used the herbal medicine. Is it because he just had a minor injury? Or is it because she's not like skilled enough to use the big boy medicine? I don't think that's how that works. I want you to come tend to Everlost, please. Before you go to sleep. She is bleeding. There we go. Patched up, patched up, patched up. Excellent. I have to take a super quick pause. Apologies. Alright, I had a super amazing tickle in the back of my throat that I just, I needed to get out. I needed to get the tickle out. Uh, we have a doe now. We're gonna, we're gonna kill the doe. It's really far away. Uh, we're going to assign the doe to the barn and then kill it. Nikita needs help. Ooh, Nikita. Okay, you did get patched up. Alright, cool. And it looks like we'll need to plant some hay soon. We should probably go ahead and do that. Just fill up this area. Big Cal is... Ooh, ooh, what happened? Big Cal, how'd you get here? Was Big Cal down and I left him? <gasps> Did I leave you, Big Cal? Go, uh... Go tend to him, please. Right now. Big Cal, I'm so sorry. I love you, buddy. So, like, why are they using herbal medicine instead of this medicine? I didn't change anything, did I? Medical? No, they can all use the best medicine. That's super weird. Uh, we now need a leg. Can we make a leg? Actually. Actually, this is the perfect time to make our bionics workbench. Yes. Uh, we can put that guy right there, I think. Or we can put him down here. Or like right here. We'll put it right here. 150 plast steel, three components, 250 steel. We should be able to swing that. We have 330 plast steel. Uh, maybe we'll be able to get him a bionic leg. That would be pretty cool. I'm sorry, you just joined the colony, and now it's like, well, have a. I was gonna say have a leg, but you don't have a leg anymore. Sorry, I'm just I'm thinking about all of the terrible, like dad, dad pun like joke things I could make. Uh, we need to get that stuff going. So we lost two turrets, unfortunately. I'm actually surprised these two turrets couldn't hold off four people. Well, that's convenient. Uh, David, if you could call them. All right, they have a leg. I don't see a good leg. Herb replacement. What is that? Places a missing eye can detect light and even objects. Huh. Okay, well, nothing for us. I'm saying about mine, this glitter world medicine, but we'll save our money. Everyone should be a-okay. I also added the vitals monitors, by the way, to all the rooms. <laughs> all these rooms got uh, dressers, and I made sure all of their end tables were nicely set up. Uh, Kilseek, how are you doing, buddy? Is everyone... everyone's okay. You're not. Turtle. Going through the pain. I'm going to let him get here with the stuff. Once he gets here, I'm going to have him uh, come rest. What are you making? Medicine? Cool. There we go. Need to haul all of these things away. Get another turret up. And yeah, I really have no idea what to do about this. Like... It's like, hey, we don't have cover, so we're just going to rush. 
So I guess sandbags would be the best thing. Or maybe rock chunks? I'm not sure. I'm not sure at all. Okay, so we're about halfway done with our uh, ground penetrating scanner, so that should help out quite a bit. Uh, with us getting steel, we won't need the steel shrooms as much. We actually don't have any planted anymore either. Uh, we may need to set that up. We don't really need the power at the moment. Um, we were going to use this for solar panels, but we could set it up to be all of our metals. Move all this stuff over here. Hmm. I'm not, I'm, I still don't know what to do about this. I guess we just make a funnel and have them come through. We could like remove this area, set up defensive stuff all along here, move the turrets back a little bit, like along this line, uh, and then create like some sort of wall where we go up to about here and then down this way and then just have like a little opening right here. As the, uh, the entryway to our colony, we could do something like that and then put all of our metals over this way. That way we have a lot of metals coming in. And I still want to do some terraforming up here for the, the alcohol, basically. We have the materials, though. We have 217 dirt, so maybe we uh, we might be able to do that. We have so much fertilizer. Um, I guess we could go ahead and get started. I think we're going to need a much bigger area over here for storage. Probably like this whole section, this whole mountain area. We'll probably have to use for storage. Like all along there. Like that. And then we'll have a little production room, and then this area will be for the uh, the barrels. It could work. We could actually extend this out right here to this wall, or one before it. We'll leave it like that. It should be okay. Because uh, if we put a door here, and a door here, then we could put the brewing station right here. Auto door, just go in and out real quick. That should be That should be okay. We could even put another brewing station in. Uh, we could even open up this area to this storage. Are we making more stew? Are you using polenta to make stew? No, lavish meals. Okay, just checking. I guess let's, uh... Let's terraform. How many of these mushrooms do we have left? We are down to two steel shrooms, so we definitely need to get more planted. Uh, we will be going through our plasteel bulb chunk soon as well. And we got this guy down over here. Uh, let's see about getting a leg for Big Cal. Craft a bionic leg. What do we need for that? Uh, we need five components and 35 plasteel and one simple prosthetic leg. Okay, that's actually not that bad. Uh, so we'll get that going. And then we'll do a simple prosthetic leg. Right there. And that is plasteel, steel, and components. But we will get him a leg to stand on. I had to, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> these are 60% grown. We'll leave those. I'm going to disallow sewing. That way, once they're done, that will just, it'll let me know. I'll see an empty spot there. Uh, hopefully, I'll remember it. We have toxic fallout. That is awful. That is super awful. I'm going to set up uh, in a loud area super fast. That way, you guys don't have to watch me do it. And then I will be right back. Alright, so apparently I already had most of this done anyway, so I just added on the rest of the building. I uh, made sure I added the geothermal in case it needs repaired for some reason. And we should be good to go when I set everyone to indoors. And all the animals are now stuck in the barn. Uh, but yeah, that kind of puts a little, little damper on our plans to terraform this area. I think, for the most part, I want to keep this like natural little shape. Uh, I know it'll be an awkward little like growing area, but... I oh, know, I like it. I like this little, I'm going to call it like a dry little creek bed uh, right here. I like it. So this is going to be our our alcohol area. Uh, and then anything else we build over here will either be housing or more farmland, which we need to terraform this now as well. Uh, let's, I guess we could plan that out real quick. We could do some planning, I suppose. How big is that? 23? That's, I don't know how to do this. Uh, I guess I'll make them like fives. Alright, and then we can, uh, 
put the little hay grass that I like so much in between all of them. So that should work out. Uh, so we will have a steel, possibly two steel, uh, and then plasteel and a silver. And then if we need, we can always switch the silver out for gold. Unfortunately, all of the silver is probably going to die thanks to the blight. Uh, everyone is still mostly running around because we have a lot of buildings. But I think they should be okay. Salad looks a little slower than usual. I don't know. I mean, I know he's missing his toe. I just can't imagine that messing it up that much. Uh, I mean, barn includes that. I feel like, alright, let's do, let's do the areas real quick. I'm going to get rid of, what is animal safety? We're going to get rid of that. We're going to get rid of that. We're going to keep that new animal area. Uh, barn indoor. And we will, uh. Make sure they just stay inside, basically. I mean, it doesn't matter. They don't have a master set. Uh, but I figured, why not? I'll just go ahead and uncheck it. Unfortunately, they're going to be cooped up in there all, the, all uh, probably all week long. I wanted to say all day long, but I don't know how long this is going to last. Um, this is going to be our silver area, our growing area. We can also do another house right here. We really don't have much else to do until this fallout ends. Uh, let's say we want a house that is it's a nice big great room. And then we build the other rooms off of that. Let's let's do that. This is a very large great room. Uh, and every house is 4x4. Four four. These would have to be touching because I pulled this over too far. Uh, and you know what? That, that actually works out. I'll pull it back one. That way the door can go right in the middle. Which would be there. Get rid of that. Alright, cool. Uh, yeah, so we can do that right there. Should give us a nice 4x4. Four four. With only a door, though. So they're going to have to share a vent, unfortunately. Uh, but that's... Is it okay with me? Do any of these guys share a vent? I don't think they do. I think that was the last colony. No, they share a vent. It should be okay. We'll be alright. Uh, we'll see how many houses we can get attached to this. There's way too many. Where did I start? That's not bad. We can get five houses attached to that. And this is like a huge room. All of these wild animals are eating our stuff and it upsets me. I hope you don't die and blow up our crops. That would be awkward. That would be super awkward. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, we finished our ground penetrating scanner. And now I have no idea what to get. I guess we get some TVs. Get some TVs going for everyone. We can see about setting up one of those scanners. Alcohol bench for salad. Excellent. Um, where would we put it? Because it's pretty... I don't know. I don't know what to call it. I guess we could just like put it back here. I don't really have a good place to put this. Or that I think would be a good place to put it. I guess we just put it like right there. Right there seems okay. We'll get that going. Uh, so that'll happen. We'll work on this house in a little bit. Uh, as soon as the fallout ends. And then we will uh, move all of our plants over here. Let's uh, roll through and check on everyone's health. Initial. You guys don't have it. You're missing a pinky. Initial, 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 initial. 
everyone's okay so that's good everyone's still running around but everyone's all right hopefully we don't lose too many of our crops uh, it looks like we're probably gonna lose all of our crops but i think what i'm gonna go ahead and do is pause the video right here and uh i'll be back whenever the toxic fallout ends because there's not really much else i'm gonna be able to do because i want to get the uh this area terraformed and then we're gonna start clearing out this section right here for the brewing area so i will be back in just a moment all right you guys this is not going well uh we just had a huge dry thunderstorm over the colony that lit a ton of stuff on fire almost every single person is sick with muscle parasites now uh which is just unfortunate i'm gonna let it play a little bit uh yeah muscle muscle parasites everyone's got muscle parasites so that happens uh and then on top of that we just had a solar flare so yeah it's a uh, it's a really long toxic fallout i've been sitting here for i don't know maybe like 15 minutes or so just letting it go on times three speed most of the time uh, i did go ahead and unrestrict them a little bit to try to get some of the the plants done uh, as well as building we had to get some emergency power up so i built four solar generators uh, because the two geothermals weren't enough to maintain power anymore uh, so we got that going and I went ahead and set up a plan for this section over here. This is how we're going to do our wall. Uh, we're going to have it come in. That way they only have one cover spot right here. And we're also going to line uh, the entrance with sandbags, basically. So uh, we'll connect this up to the road. And then this will be our main entryway into the base. Uh, we'll reorganize this section. And I'm going to do full concrete over this whole area. And then I think we're going to actually put incendiary traps inside our own base. Uh, just in case they are, I don't know, super froggy. Solar flare's over, that's pretty good. Uh, is everyone still on indoors? Everyone is on indoors. So, I think everyone's okay, except for Big Cal. He was on serious, but now he's back down to moderate, so that's okay. Uh, Everlost is currently on serious, that's not that great. Uh, so is Killseek, actually. Uh, that's one of the bad things about having such a large open base, instead of being in like a, a nice little mountain dwarven colony, is... We gotta deal with this. Uh, we did get this ground penetrating scanner finished. I'm not sure if I showed you guys or, or if I clicked it uh, before I paused, but we have a lot of stuff like in our base, which is kind of unfortunate. Uh, but what I was thinking is we could probably go mine this out before we build the building. Uh, we could probably sneak that one right there. And then this one over here, there's one up here in the water. And then we'll have to push out a little bit farther. And now there's a heat wave. That's. It's okay, I guess. Uh, we have puppies now, too. We just had, like, one or two more puppies. Butts. Minla. You guys, I just... <laughs> we also have more cows, as well. We have uh, quite a few cows. I think we have four cows. Two bulls. So, things are okay. I'm a little concerned about the serious toxic buildup. I might have to just draft one of you. Like, where's your bed? This bed is unold. I'm just going to draft her and put her over there. Uh, and then Turtle is moderate. Initial kill seek. Where's your bed, buddy? Right here. I'm just going to draft them and put them in their bedroom for right now. Uh, that way they kind of take the day off, if you will. Hopefully they're not super hungry. You're okay, and you're also okay. So hopefully that takes care of itself. But this toxic fallout is just lasting absolutely forever. Uh, so I guess in the next episode, we'll try to set up a deep driller right over here in this area to take care of that ore. Uh, and then we'll... I wish you could move the deep drill. Um, I've used it once before and you can't move it. And it just seems weird. But we'll, uh, we'll try to build a couple around the area and get some of that stuff going. Um, we finished some of our research. I'm currently researching circuit breakers right now. That way we can set one of those. Because it sounds like... Like, the basic fuses, they need to be repaired whenever they get triggered. Uh, I'm hoping the circuit breaker just needs to get flipped. Like, the switch just needs to get flipped. That way you don't have to use components every single time. So that's why we're researching that one. Uh, I researched incendiary IEDs. We finished the TVs. And I think that was it. Oh, and I also got fire foam right here. Uh, because, uh, well, that would be good. <laughs> Having something to put out fires. I've never actually used them either. Fire foam popper. When touched by fire or triggered by hand, this pops and sprays fire extinguishing foam in a circular field around itself. So we could probably put it a few in the fields. Um, I'm going to send them away. 
we were supposed to have visitors at some point, but that didn't happen. Um, but these guys, I don't know. Just plop them, plop a few down to the fields. They could be pretty good. Yep, yep. The only bad thing is, is it says when touched by fire. So that would mean they would have to get all the way to the center of the fire foam popper. And also, I don't know if it would ruin the crops. Um, I guess let me know if it would ruin the crops. I'm hoping it wouldn't, but it very well could. Uh, I'll undraft you guys so you guys don't freak out anymore. And yeah, this this toxic fallout is just... It's lasting absolutely forever. Is everyone okay still? Killsteak's still on Sirius. So is Everlost. And now Turtle is also back up Sirius. This is Fish. Yeah, I just, I really want this fallout to end. Um, what are you doing? Resting. Okay, that'll be good. You go rest. Wait, what? Why would you go that way, nerd? Go that way. I don't understand. Psychic suits, nice. Well. Turtle needs treatment for his muscle parasites. Okay. Uh, I guess that's just going to wrap this episode up, and next time I'll uh, I'll keep playing before we start uh, the video. Try to get through this toxic fallout, and if anything major happens, I will, of course, start recording and show you guys. Uh, but, like I said, we're going to start working on some deep drilling around the base. That way we can build this house up uh, for any future colonists, now that we really need it right now. A pirate merchant is passing nearby. We'll check those guys out real fast before we leave. Uh, we're also going to work on our front entryway. Probably build one or two more turrets, concrete the whole area in, put some incendiary IEDs around. Uh, that way we'll hopefully light them on fire and they'll run around and not be able to shoot back. Uh, and then we'll also try to work on our terraforming. I also went ahead and kind of like planned out our little storage section up here. So we're going to do something like this uh, for our storage. And yeah, I guess let's check out the pirate merchant. Never lost. If you could call them, please. I know. I guess I'll buy your three components. Um, sell them the flu medicine. Keep her biotic leg. We still have to do the surgery uh, for Big Cal. We have rum. We have bows. Let's sell some of these guys. Keep the rest. We'll keep the pants. You guys don't like... Why do you guys not have people? I feel like pirates should have people uh, to, to sell me. But I guess that's okay. Well. I guess. We don't really get much. We get to sell them a few weapons. We get three components. That's that's about it. Unfortunate. Uh, I would like to sell some more of the puppies. That needs to get hauled urgently. I don't know if that'll actually happen. Because everyone's set to indoors. Um... Who can haul things? Crow can haul things. Let's let's do that real quick. Uh, Crow, if you could that. You don't carry the porridge. Why? Wait. Why are you carrying? Okay. Now he's gonna do it. Okay. Cool. Yes. The toxic fallout's over. Oh, that's so good. Uh, hopefully everyone lives. Crow, we're gonna set you back to Crow. That way you don't go over there and do that stuff. And, yeah. Alright, cool. Uh, well, we still have the heat wave going on, which is unfortunate. I still think we need another cooler over in this area, so we'll probably end up setting up one of those. Uh, I'll just go ahead and plan that out right now. That can get done. Uh, and then, like I said, we're going to drill, and then we're going to work on our entryway. So, that is going to be it for this one. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a good weekend. And have... Nope. Have a, I, I wanted to say have a good one and have a good weekend, but I guess I just jumped the gun. Definitely do have a good weekend. Also have a good one. I feel weird now. Bye, guys. <laughs>